today i am going to discuss about interference in thin film thin film what are the examples of thin films soap films and oil slicks are examples for thin films okay here for thin films we have to consider two surfaces one is upper surface and lower surface let us consider a thin film a thin film of thickness small t g g dash h h dash g g dash represents the upper surface of the thin film and h h dash represents the lower surface of the thin film whenever a monochromatic light incident that means the name of this ray is ab incident on the upper surface of cis b ab incident on the upper surface of the thin film then what happens immediately a ray reflects from the upper surface itself and and another ray because this was happened due to reflection of light then another beam enters into the thin film and touches the lower surface and then reflects like this that touches at point c lower surface and then reflects and touches the upper surface at point d and then due to refraction it bends and follows this path this gives r dash where r dash r and r dash are called two emerged waves two emerged rays now the incident angle is i the refracted angle is r okay now we have to find the path difference between these two rays these two rays for that draw a line on this this is e this is b b and this is e now we have to find the path difference b okay from path difference only we can find out various parameters okay for that we have to consider b e d triangle first of all but we don't know this b d value for that we have to take the help of this triangle b c d so for b c d um, this is looks like a equilateral triangle for equilateral triangle not suitable for trigonometric calculations so we have to draw a perpendicular line this is f this is f now then this will be r now we have to find the value fb and fd <coughs> with respect to the thickness so to find find the effect to path difference effect to path difference between two rays so the effect to path difference delta is equal to delta is equal to mu into bc plus cd minus 
begin this is equation number one for that we have to consider a point b now the ray enters into the denser medium is taken as positive the ray reflects from the rarer medium itself is considered as negative so find bc cd and be values so find bc value find bc for that consider triangle fbc cis fbc triangle now find bc which is hypotenuse and we know already the t thickness of fin that is fc that means this is adjacent side this is hypotenuse side cos r cos r is equal to adjacent fc by bc fc by bc so bc is equal to fc by cos r we know bc is equal to t by cos r similarly bc is equal to cd therefore cd is equal to t by cos r bc plus cd is equal to 2t by cos r this is equation number 2 now find find b for that we have to find we have to find b which is equals to the fb plus fd fb plus fd so find bd so find fb again consider again consider the triangle FBC so FB represents opposite side and FC represents adjacent side that is opposite by adjacent gives tan that is tan R is equal to FB by FC but we know FC is T then tan R is equal to fb by fc that that is fc fc means fb by tan r is equal to fb by t fb by t then fb is equal to T tan R. This is equation number three. Equation number three. Similarly, FB is equal to FD. Therefore, FD is equal to two T tan R. This is equation number four. This is equation number four. From but BD FB FT is equal to T tan R therefore BD is equal to 2T tan R this is equation number 5 now put equation 2 and 
5 in equation 1 we get delta is equal to mu into bc plus cd is 2t by cos r minus b means 2t tan r here fb is equal to t tan r but fb is equal to fd so fd is equal to again t tan r so bd is equal to fb plus fd so bd is equal to 2t tan r find b value for that we have to consider the triangle bd this is the triangle bd in that bd we have to find b by using b d value so we know the bd value is t tan r so sin sin a you have to consider this is b e by b d then b e is equal to 2 t tan r so b e is equal to 2 t sin i into tan r now we have to convert this incident angle that is this i into refracting angle by snell's law by Snell's law mu is equal to sin i by sin r then sin i is equal to mu into sin r then this equation becomes this equation becomes b e is equal to 2 mu t sin r tan r this is equation number 4. Now put put equation 2 and 4 in equation 1. That is delta mu into the equation 2 is 2t two by cos r the second equation is 2t by cos r minus b e means 2 mu t sin r into tan r 2 mu t sin r into tan r that is equal to 2 mu t by cos r is minus 2 mu t sin r sin square r by cos r sin r means this is sin square r by cos r that means take a common factor of 2 mu t by cos r this is 1 minus sin square r we know 1 minus sin square r is cos square r it is 2 mu t by cos r into cos square r cos and cos gets cancelled delta is equal to 2 mu t cos r the phase difference between incident and reflected ray is pi that means the direction of incident ray is this the reflecting ray direction is this the angle between these two are 180 degrees that is pi the corresponding path difference is lambda by 2 we have to add this path reference with this path reference then the effective path reference delta is equal to 2 mu t 
cos r plus or minus lambda by 2 2 meter cos r plus or minus lambda by 2 now we have to consider the condition for bright fringe condition for bright fringe that is delta is equal to n lambda pair n is equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on up to n means the fringe will be bright when n is equal to 1 means at lambda at 2 at 0 at lambda at 2 lambda 3 lambda 4 lambda and so on that means if at 1 it gives bright fringe then 2 it gives bright fringe then 3 gives bright fringe then that means 1 and half 2 and half 3 and half represents the dark fringe so the equation the above given equation 5 becomes Delta is equal to lambda. This is equation six. Equate equation five and six. Equation five and six. That means um, two mu t cos r plus r minus lambda by two is equal to is equal to n lambda. Then two mu t cos r is equal to n lambda minus r plus lambda by 2 if you took common factor lambda by 2 that is 2n minus r plus 1 lambda by 2 that is 2 mu t cos r cos r this is condition for bright this equation gives the condition for right now condition for dark yes 2 mu t cos r plus r minus lambda by 2 that is equal to odd multiples of half wavelength that is 2n plus r minus 1 into lambda by 2 then 2 mu t cos r is equal to 2n plus r minus 1 into lambda by 2 to minus r plus minus r plus lambda by 2. that means 2n lambda by 2 plus r minus lambda by 2 minus r plus lambda by 2 this is equal to n lambda and this and this gets cancelled therefore 2 mu t cos r is equal to n lambda this gives condition for dark here at this condition bright fringes are formed at this condition dark fringes will be formed cos r this is